In this video of Florence, Oregon, we will visit the town of Sayusla, do some hiking, ATV riding, sea lion watching, and of course, eating. Welcome to Sayusla. We're gonna try this ocean fresh fish house. It's called the Bridgewater. This came up as the top fam chowder in the area. Oh, okay, okay. What'd you order? You'll have to remind me what the first one is. It's a special that we ordered with clams and... Mussels. Mussels. And a garlic and wine. A garlic wine, bean sauce. Yeah. And um, we also got... Garlic butter. The clam chowders. Get those onion rings. I feel so bad because uh, this is warm and we should hurry <laughs> And you've got your clam chowder there? It's like a garlic butter and bread. And is that clam chowder? Yeah. It looks great. It looks like we got a lot too. Oh wow. Oh. It's hot. That's a house made barbecue sauce. House made barbecue. I'll try that one first. He doesn't like barbecue sauce. Mm -mm. And she still doesn't like barbecue sauce. Mm. <laughs> this one's good though. Because, it, because it's more vinegary oh, wow. than sweet. I like That's the just, vinegary. Uh, Ranch sauce, nothing special probably. Mm. I like them both. You're gonna love these. Awesome. Mm. This is the only time I eat crackers in my soup, too. This is really, really good clam chowder. Because the pieces of clam are like yeah, almost huge. a mouthful. And they're probably fresh, probably local. Mm -hmm. That's perfect clam chowder. Yeah. This We're so far is my favorite. Spoiled. So we get to the East Coast, this is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> so far, right? Ooh. I don't know, I've, I've never used these. <laughs> but. There's a, a lot of creamy sauce down there. I think yeah. you're supposed to get it with your spoon. So I'll give it a try. This one's a little different, because it's not just garlic. It's got um, tomatoes in it, but it's still really good. Can you see that? It's still a good sauce. This is very good. You need to try it. What you doing? Well, I was going to be done. We just had this one bread left in the sauce, but it's so good. I have to keep going. Even though I'm probably full already. That's because that's the best part. <laughs> You know he had to try it. Yeah. And it's over a hundred years, so we gotta try it. Okay. Even though we don't really like sweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. Sure, you don't. This is disgusting. I don't know why places sell such gross things. Okay, so you want to say the real stuff or what? <laughs> yeah, of course, it's great. It's like homemade ice cream from a hundred years ago. It's amazing. So you love it, huh? Yeah, I come here every day. <laughs> what do you think? You're too sweet. It's too sweet. Come on down. The gates are unlocked. 
So supposedly the best clam chowder right here on the dock. It's a tiny little place. When people are flocking down here, so they must be really good. Oh, there are people waiting already. So we got the extra large clam chowder, it was $20, and we got two garlic breads, which was $2 each. Yep. Um, do you know how much the bread bowl was? The bread bowl is $12, but it's a lot smaller than that. Yeah, so we just decided to go with the most clam chowder we could oh, get. It's not clam chowder, it's or crab chowder. Crab chowder? Yeah. Oh, she I says some people, people come in thinking it's uh, clam chowder, and then they leave bad reviews because it's not what they thought. Oh, okay, so this is crab chowder. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. I didn't learn that until we got here. Oh yeah, that's award-winning. <laughs> okay. You wanna try some? I'll do a second bite review. of a unique taste just slightly is that salty. oregano yeah oregano oregano lots of potatoes in here i haven't come across any crab yet it tastes like a creamy oregano soup and it's good though mm. it's very good mm. i got a little crab it's good Dip it all in here. I'm gonna get your soup all dirty. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. We're gonna get clam chowder. And then we're gonna go get lobster mac and cheese. Clam chowder and lobster mac and cheese at the other restaurant. Yeah, we're gonna do a two for two restaurants back to back for the first time ever. For the first time ever, two restaurants. Back Why? Because we're fat. <laughs> for two minutes. This is the chowder. Take me to your chowder. What are you getting? I'm getting the clam chowder, but there's two ways don't. to get it. All right, don't make it too long with yes. this. <laughs> I don't want a whole story. Either what deluxe are you or regular <laughs> clam chowder. Deluxe or regular. So what? What are you getting? So the I'm sharing with you. So oh, deluxe. Oh, we're gonna share. Then we're getting the deluxe bowl for sharing. So deluxe doesn't mean anything extra. It just means big. No, oh, it it's got extra. Um, the deluxe clam chowder is our award-winning clam chowder topped with crab, shrimp, Swiss cheese, and Parmesan cheese, served with garlic bread. Oh, that sounds a whole lot different than Breakwater's one. Yeah, so that just means it, it might be better than Breakwater's one because you're actually trying a different clam chowder. You're not trying the basic clam chowder. You should try the basic one. Oh no, you can have the basic one if you want. <laughs> but I'm getting that one. Does the deluxe come in a cup? It has a cup or a bowl, yeah. So why don't we get the regular cup? And a deluxe bowl. 
cup, cup, cup. <laughs> A cup and a cup. Did you say cup cup? Yeah, cup cup. <laughs> I think I'll get a bowl of the deluxe and you could get a cup of the regular. Because I know what I want. <laughs> All right. If you want to share with me, we, we can share the, the bowl. And we'll share the cup too. Yeah. So that you can try yeah. the differences between what's okay. the regular cup and the deluxe version. Alright, we're all ready to go. So that's the deluxe, and that's the baby cup. Time to eat. I wish it was raining and cloudy all the time. So who's better? Breakwater or this one? Oh, Breakwater this just won for the best clam chowder this year. And this know. was before. This one just had so much going on. So well, maybe I'll try this plain one. one. <laughs> This one's the best. They're just being nice. They got, you know, they're picking the whatever the award and they're sharing it, sharing it around. Yeah. But this is the best. This is the best. Oh yeah. Hands down. Oh, oh, oh you're right. Well, there is. I just had a big chunk of um, crab. Did you say crab? Yeah, there's a big chunk of crab. Just, like, <laughs> After eating some more, we found that the base flavor might might be better than breakwater, but it doesn't have as much clams in it as breakwater. Breakwater had huge clams in every bite. And this little cup that I have here, I maybe ran across two. I'm getting more now. There was probably eight spoonfuls where I didn't get any, but now I'm starting to get more again. And plus a big chunk of crab. <laughs> Put it on the sign. Oh, look at that. Put it on the sign and bring you in. Yeah. Lobster like, mac and uh, cheese. <laughs> nice little place. They split our salad. Would you look at that? Yeah. This is one half of the lobster mac and cheese. The steam's coming out. <laughs> So let it cool off. Plenty. <laughs> it's, it's so buttery. Yeah. Right? It tastes Pottery. like a dessert. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like a dessert. It's rich, buttery, creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, shut, shut it off. I need to eat.
So there's not much to do here in this leafy town of, what is it, Siusla? Siusla, Florence, it's hard to say. Siusla, there's lots of names for it. Florence, Oregon. There's lots to do. What? <laughs> there's lots to do. It's just too cold for you to go out and do them. Is that what like, it is? Like there's a lot of outside stuff to do. Oh. Like this. <laughs> well, we've been eating this whole time, so I don't know. We haven't done much. Uh, this is a sea lion caves. So we saw this on a sign. We're gonna look at it. And uh, do you remember how much the price is? I think it's like 12 bucks each or something. 12 bucks each. And they recommend that you bring binoculars, so. We're bringing binoculars. So we're bringing binoculars and let's go. Let's check it out, let's check it out. <laughs> This is. Have you guys ever been down to the cave? We've no. never been. All right, 200 sea lions down there today, along with exhibits, rock formations, and a short video that gives you the history. Oh, good day cool. to go down and check it out. Yes, yeah, nice and sunny. All right. And stinky. And stinky. I, yeah, I could smell it from up here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh... Something's fishy. It's like hundred dead fish. Yeah. I do know. We call if we could walk up. Oh no. Uh oh, we reached the bottom. <laughs> Seven feet long and weighed 327 pounds. She was only three. <laughs> Died of a gunshot wound. A recommendation by one of the locals they said to come up here and hike the lighthouse so we're here to check it out this is a beautiful scene it's five dollars to park 
before you go on the hike. But uh, it looks to be very well worth it. I'll give you a look around. Hike is up there and past that house, somewhere up there, is where the lighthouse will be. rotating inside. Remember what trail we're taking? Um, it's it's kind of a. Um, I'll read what it says here. I think one of them's the Hobbit Trail. Yeah. It's called the Hobbit Trail and China Creek Trail. Hobbit Trail and China Creek it's about, Trail. It's about five five miles long, huh? Uh, yeah, about five about miles. A little shorter of five miles. Okay. So we decided to go on a hike today. And that's the hike we decided to take. And it sort of starts us here at the beach.
just came from the Hobbit Trail, which was on the beach. Oh, got the valley trail bridge. I guess we'll see. We'll take the valley trail. Why? Because that's a smart thing to do. Let's we'll continue this way to the campground. That's their daily rates. Full hookups for non-resident is 41 bucks a night. That's cheap considering most places are about 60 to 70, but good to know. They just started charging a higher rate for non-residents on January 1st. Huh. That's a big thing here. So what that was, yeah. hmm. Well, it looks nice. All right, back to the truck. So it's a pretty nice day here. We decided to rent some ATVs. But uh, I can't hold the GoPro and ride, so you're gonna miss it, sorry. But those are what ATVs look like. In case you don't know what one looks like, that's an ATV, one of those. And we're gonna go have some fun since it's a nice sunny day. Awesome. And here we go. Oh yeah, I heard so, that. <laughs> yeah, that's like how they made their living. Um, and this room is how they lived. And upstairs is some Native American stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> and this used to be an old school. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is what it looked like originally right here. And then this was, it was built about 1904, 1905. And then, and then after they quit using it as a school in 53, it had a big fire and it burned off the upstairs. Okay. Go this way. Wow. I want to see how they made their living. Men used to make cradles oh, for yeah. their children. It does look good. Well, I remember when Hershey's used to be sold in those metal tins. I didn't know they had root beer extract. Yeah. Look how old they are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nestle Quick used to be in those tins too. Yeah. I remember banana flavor. Ooh, banana flavor was good. all the sailors would just throw their bottles away in the ocean. You can see all the cover bridges all at once. 
you don't have to drive around looking, looking at them in the video. Oh, a textile machine. Oh, nice. You just brought back a memory. Building things from matchsticks. Yeah, yeah. It's great that some of the places like this you remember a lot of stuff. Yeah. It just makes me remember how old I am. Well, kids, they wouldn't even know what any of this stuff means. I know. <laughs> they don't even know what a telephone is. All they could do is go see, like, different cell phones. <laughs> like, that would be their reason. Yeah. Can you imagine, yeah, can you imagine their museum? It's just going to be like Nokia cell phones and yeah. stuff. Remember when you had to type? Like they have no idea, they would have no idea what this is. Alphabet or whatever, like that's, that's their equivalent to this. <laughs> when they see the dialing system like this, they don't know what to do with it. This is quite amazing. Uh, I bet you this was really used. Of course. Operator, how can I direct I your call? It. Reminds me of a Dion's or a Mountain Mike's pizza. What we got pizza. Well, they have garlic knots. <laughs> has a white sauce, and they have taco pizzas, they have uh, you know, normal ones, they have an Abby's uh, special, but we went with a uh, white sauce as a kind of a one to try it. It's a garlic. I'm trying small pizza. Mm -hmm. on this plate, pour your, your mess on top of the rest of the pizza. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> <laughs> they got the right size too for once. They have unusual sizes here. 7 inch, 10 inch, 13 inch, and 16 inch. I think 16 inch is for like a football game. 13 inch is like, it's like a little too big for two people to, you know, eat. And 
hope that they don't take leftovers home. Like if you really stuffed it. 10 inch seemed a little too small, but now that we got it, and we got all these toppings on it, I think this is the right time. All fried are good for me. All right, give it a drink. It's uh, one looks dark, like it has more foam than the other. Yeah, it's way better without the straw. What do you think? It's big. It does come with refills. Is this the only size? No, there's three sizes. And what, you just got like dinosaur size? I or got what? large. <laughs> Is it recording? So in case you didn't know this, because I didn't know this, you could go to an A&W root beer and just get root beer. And Scott got these and they were two seventy five, and you can sit here and drink as much as you want because it's free refills. This huge dinosaur big glass of root beer. So good. <laughs> Too much soda. <laughs>